Hello everyone! Today's video is all about Copilot training as Microsoft just released four new Microsoft 365 Copilot official courses and guess what? You have access to all the content absolutely free. In this video, we will cover the courses and how you can get access to the content. Let me start by saying that, isn't it crazy that Copilot was only announced a year or so ago? I feel like ever since it got announced, Microsoft 365 Copilot is the only thing that Microsoft has been talking about. And I feel like I heard it so many times that I have this feeling that it's been around forever, but it's only been actually generally available for six months or so at the time of recording this video. And we now finally have some Microsoft 365 Copilot official courses from Microsoft. There are four courses that we will talk about in this video. We first have course number MS4004, which is titled Empower Your Workforce with Copilot for Microsoft 365 Use Cases. Next up, we have course number MS4005, which is titled Craft Effective Prompts for Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. Third, we have a course called Copilot for Microsoft 365 for Administrators, which is number MS4006. And finally, course MS4007, which is called Copilot for Microsoft 365 User Enablement Specialist. Before we deep dive in those courses, let's first of all talk about what is a Microsoft official course, which you will often see abbreviated as MOC. Those are courses that Microsoft has built with the main purpose of being delivered in an instructor-led format, and they are usually, but not always, aligned with the Microsoft credential. And a Microsoft credential can either be a Microsoft certification or one of the new Microsoft applied skills. I mentioned that not always because at least for now, the courses that we're talking about today are not aligned to any credential. As it's a Microsoft official course, Microsoft is in charge of maintaining the training material, the training PowerPoint, and really everything about this course. There are two ways to take Microsoft official courses. First, they can be taken at a Microsoft training partner and given by a Microsoft certified trainer, which of course will cost you money. Or you can self-study for free since the material is the same between the two. So the big difference is that you pay for having somebody teach that material for you and of course answer questions versus consuming it yourself. Okay, now that we did the quick introduction, let's start talking about each one of those courses. And let's start with MS 4004, empower your workforce with Copilot for Microsoft 365 use cases, which is a one day course. And by the way, all the links to those will be in the description below. Now let's see what the overview of the course is. This one day course is composed of two parts, getting started with Copilot for Microsoft 365 and empower your workforce with Copilot for Microsoft 365 use cases. The first part of the course introduces you to Copilot for Microsoft 365, examines how you can use Copilot throughout the various Microsoft 365 apps, explores best practices for using Copilot and building effective prompts, and examines how you can extend Copilot with plugins and graph connectors. The second part of this training content, really the heart of this course, 
students perform a series of hands-on exercises, including seven use cases, executives, sales, marketing, finance, IT, HR, and operations. Those exercises focus on using Copilot in different Microsoft 365 apps, and they complete a series of common business-related tasks pertaining to each use case. Really important, and I want to highlight the next part, to complete the use case exercises in this course, each student must have access to a bring your own subscription in which they're licensed to use Copilot for Microsoft 365. So you need to have your own license in your tenant as those licenses are not provided by the training partner. Of course, you also need to have a OneDrive account since Copilot, especially Copilot in Excel, requires the files to be in OneDrive or of course SharePoint to complete the use cases. Now for the audience, this is targeted towards business users that want to enhance their Copilot for Microsoft 365 skills to solve business-related use case scenarios. If we take a look at what's in the course, we first have a module on Introduction to Copilot for Microsoft 365, and then we go on to explore the possibilities with Copilot for Microsoft 365. We then have Optimize and Extend Copilot for Microsoft 365, which honestly was a bit early in the course for me, we then have all the different use cases from executive to sales to the IT use case, the marketing use case, the finance use case. And at the end, we of course have the HR, which I forgot about. And we will have the operation use case. And finally, we will have a challenge use case in which you kind of have a challenge on how to use Copilot to do a certain scenario. Okay, this is it for our first course. Let's move on to our next course, which is MS4005, which is also a one day course on crafting effective prompts for Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. This course enables you to discover ways to craft effective and contextual prompts for Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 that create, simplify, transform, and compile content across Microsoft 365 applications. In this course, you will learn the importance of providing a clear goal, context, source, and expectation in your prompt for best results. This course covers real-world scenarios and examples of using Copilot in Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, Outlook, OneNote, and Chat, which, by the way, already got renamed to uh, the Copilot app inside Teams. If we take a look at what's covered in this course, we start with an introduction to Copilot for Microsoft 365, and then we have explored the possibilities with Copilot for Microsoft 365 and optimize and extend Copilot for Microsoft 365. You might recognize some of those. We will then learn how to summarize, create and draft, and edit and transform content with Copilot for Microsoft 365 and end with ask questions and analyze content with Copilot for Microsoft 365. I mentioned it briefly, but again, something to be aware of. We talked about it again a little bit before. The first three modules overlap between the MS4004 and MS4005. So personally, I feel like I wouldn't pay for both those courses as there's so much overlap. So if you want to take this as an instructor-led course and you want both of them, maybe work with the training provider to have a day and a half so you don't overlap the content. Okay, now let's move over to course number three. And this one is called Copilot for Microsoft 365 Administrators. And this one is also a one-day course, but of course, it's focused at 
IT professionals and consultants. And again, this is course number 4006. The course begins by examining the Microsoft 365 Copilot design. Its main focus, however, is on the security and compliance features that administrators must configure in their Microsoft 365 tenant to protect their company's organizational data before they implement Copilot for Microsoft 365. This course is designed for administrators or Microsoft 365 administrators that are already familiar with basic Microsoft 365 administration. So make sure again you have the basic M365 admin knowledge before you go in this Copilot specific course. Now let's talk about what we'll cover in this course. We first start with a module on examining the Copilot for Microsoft 365 design. And we will then learn how to implement Copilot for Microsoft 365. And then we start talking security with examine data security and compliance for Copilot for Microsoft 365. We then learn how we can manage secure user access in Microsoft 365. Next up, we learn how to manage permissions, roles, and role groups in Microsoft 365. And after that, we move a bit more into compliance. We will learn how to implement data classification of sensitive information, and we will learn about sensitivity labels. We will learn about them, and we will also learn how to implement them. So really, this course seems to be kind of a small SC400 course, for M365 admins in a day, you learn a bit of Copilot, a bit of security, a bit of compliance with the main goal of securing your tenant for Microsoft 365 Copilot. Okay, we have one more course to talk about, Copilot for Microsoft 365 User Enablement Specialist, course number MS4007. Now this one, at the time of recording this course, doesn't have an official course page yet on Microsoft Learn, but it's available on partner sites, so you can already go register for it. And it does have a learning path, so all the content is there, it just doesn't have the fancy course page layout yet. This course will teach you how to drive adoption of Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 using the Microsoft 365 adoption framework to create and implement a robust adoption plan. There are four modules in this course. First, explore adoption methods and strategies for the adoption of Copilot for Microsoft 365. We then have envision a successful adoption of Copilot for Microsoft 365, followed by onboard and empower your employees to use Copilot for Microsoft 365 efficiently. And finally, drive value and maximize the impact of Copilot for Microsoft 365 within your organization. So as you can see, this one day course is really focused on creating an adoption plan for your company about Copilot in Microsoft 365. On this slide, you have all the different links to the courses, but again, they will also be in the description below. And something that I want to tell you before you book an instructor-led course, ask them this one question. Will I, as the learner, have a co-pilot lab to test things out during the training, or is it only a slides and demos training? This is very important because Usually those one day trainings will cost between $800 and $1,000 for one day. And if you do not get the chance to actually play with it and use it yourself, you might not retain a lot of the information. And at $800 a day, you cannot rewatch it later. It can be quite expensive. And so make sure you ask them. And even if you decide to go forward with it, that's okay. But at least you will have correct expectations before. Now, uh, something else I wanted to mention, of course, if you're looking for Microsoft Copilot affordable instructor-led courses, Pluralsight has over 
10 hours of Copilot content available to you. You can access it all for about $30 for a month or buy a discounted yearly subscription and you can get access to all the new amazing Copilot content that we are building. And on this, I just want to say a huge thank you for listening to this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And this way you will get the latest news on Microsoft certifications, Copilot, SharePoint, Teams, and more.